Tighter lending rules and interest rate hikes have triggered the biggest property sales slump in almost 40 years. The latest CoreLogic figures reveal house sales in the 12 months to February are down a third on last year. Fewer than 61,000 properties were sold nationwide. For the month of February alone, just over 4,000 deals were done, the lowest for that month since the early 80s. As Lucy Thompson reports, with few vendors in a hurry to sell, it's forcing first home buyers to retreat from the market. It's been almost four decades since the housing market has gone this quiet. I'd call it a bit of a standoff between buyers and sellers. With unemployment low, few vendors are in a hurry to sell. And buyers with finance are taking their time too, knowing there's an abundance of properties on the market and prices are falling. But so too is the number of first-timers entering the market. I didn't expect it to be this challenging. A challenging process that's ultimately forced Rachel and her husband to reconsider their options altogether. We thought we'd be in a house by now. We're not. Um, and so we're kind of back to the drawing board, looking at going overseas again, uh, potentially to, to earn more money. And they're not alone. The latest figures from CoreLogic show first-home buyers' share of purchases fell again in February. Could be an interest rate pressure. Could be a simple choice that people are just thinking, well, prices are going down, I might wait, see if I can get a bargain later. So could be one of those things. But, um, yeah, definitely first-home buyers showing signs of a little bit of fatigue. But CoreLogic says the good news is mortgage rates have peaked. The worst is definitely passed for mortgage rates and I think we, we are now in that situation where people can quantify their worst case. However, not going to say mortgage rates will suddenly fall away again sharply. Rent, however, is still on the rise. The national median weekly rent in Aotearoa hit $600 for the first time in February, up 4% or around $25 in 12 months. Really holding on to hope that... Um, we can make it work somehow. Because for many Kiwis, renting is now more expensive than paying off a mortgage. Lucy Thompson, News Hub.